Here's the giveaways. If anybody knows Buster Brown, you know Buster Brown? You wore Buster Brown shoes, right? And they would uh, have the kids come in and encourage the mothers to come in by giving the kids comics, right? Okay, encourage, like uh, putting little uh, toys in cereal boxes. Get the kids, Mama, I want that. I want that atomic ring, atomic bomb ring. I remember that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've seen them advertise in some of these comic books here. The atomic bomb ring made of plastic. Every kid wanted it. I did too. <laughs> that would encourage my mother to keep buying that box of cereal. They're probably the one that had that atomic bomb plastic ring. And of course, mother could only buy one box at a time. We were cool. But uh, I never did get that atomic bomb ring. But uh, in any case, uh, yes, an all the game with Buster Brown shoes, uh, free giveaway, any orphan comics. And uh, they realized that, hey, there's a great, uh, there's a great uh, desire to have comic books. Kids love them. So they said, well, let's uh, start printing them. And then people, uh, some artists came along and said, well, let's create a superhero. And uh, that, of course, is Superman, the first, uh, not, maybe not the first, there's Captain something or other, uh, possibly Captain Marvel. There's, there's some earlier uh, superheroes, but Superman was the one that really caught the attention. And the first the Superman comic book is him lifting up a, a taxi cab. <laughs> and today, uh, I think the first Superman comic book, uh, if you had it in mint condition, would sell like for half a million dollars. And uh, there's a news article just recently in the last week. A fellow uh, took $10,000 uh, some 20, 30 years ago and bought a lot of the old comics, thinking that he could uh, make a profit later. And indeed, he has a Spider-Man number 15. Oh, Amazing Fantasy number 15. Yeah, Amazing Stories 15. The first uh, 